How steep is it? Let's take a look. This was the centre of the Battle of the of the American side for the Battle of the Coral Sea, so it's really important to have good communications, good navigation. <laughs> uh -huh. This is how I walk up hills. I'm, just, I'm turning into a mountain goat now. Oh. What happened? We got a fish. Oh, it might be some weed. I don't know. It went off quite, like, really went off though. Yeah, it's a fish. <gasps> Oh, we got a fish. Get away from the dinghy fish. Ah, uh, it shook, it shook. It's gone. Oh, it's still there. It's only tiny, it's a little shark. Oh, can you eat shark? Yeah. <laughs> right, can you grab the hook out of its mouth? No. Just going past Marillion Harbour over there. Believe it or not, there are ships in there. It's a protected harbour. If you need refuge. Sugar channel. Well, we made it to Russell Island. The wind picked up. We had four sails up for a while. Then the uh, fetch picked up too. <laughs> and Russell's a bit nasty, a bit rolly, a bit rough in there. So we're going to go to a Another little island, not, whoa, not far away. And I don't know the name of it. Normanby. Normanby. Okay, so I think it's over this way somewhere. Oh, yeah. oh through there. Whales out there somewhere. This is Normanby Island. So this was our second choice. We're gonna check this one out, and if this one isn't any good, we're gonna to go to High Island. And then we've run out of options. <laughs> yeah. Up the front there. Yeah, right there, it's just up the front right. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's one way up there. There's one there, there's one there. I just worked out that the whale over there is actually a mooring. <laughs> That's quite funny. It's Friday, so we're having fish and chips, shark here, and we've got wedges in the oven. And the only reason I put the lid on is to stop the splatter all around the stove here, which makes a big mess, and they need water to clear it up. Doesn't look too shabby. Yum, yum. Landed a, a ripper of a Spanish mackerel, um, but I oh, you don't I don't like to take the big ones. So I picked this one about 90 about 90 centimeters. So um, yeah, nice fat one. 
So we've got dinner for a couple of days. We've got off all the time to get around the back of this island here. It's a bit rocky and rolly out here. Hey, just coming up to Fitzroy Island. It's been a good morning. Cheers. 8.9 knots. We are just about to do the summit walk on Fitzroy Island. It's so, about a five, five to six k round trip, so yeah. it should be a nice morning walk on a Sunday. Nice and cool. So yeah. Yeah. We've only just started and we've come across this little fella. A golden orb. Ooh. That's how big he's in reference. My hand's just behind him. I got a big hand. Anybody know what these are? <laughs> They're big. Yeah, we need a hand for reference. There, look at the size of that. Onward. Looks like you can drive to the top. <laughs> yeah. I just asked Wendy if she knew what these were called. And she said, humps. I said, close, but they're called woo boys. I don't know if it's a Queensland term, a North Queensland term. I've never heard it in Western Australia, where we're from. But um, commonly known as erosion mounds. And uh, they just redirect the water coming down into the correct path to stop erosion. But yeah, interesting fact, the woo boys. Green ant nest. There's none on the outside. Oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? Oh, green ants don't get up on Sunday morning. Usually they would come scurrying out. to the island, I would say, because looking at them, there's one, two, three cradles there for fuel tanks. This is far enough away to not be noisy. So this would have been, yeah, the powerhouse and it's downwind. And it's right on the edge of the resort because yes, that's the national but, park there. But now, it, of course, they've got undersea cable, so they don't need generator power anymore. That's what this would have been. This one would have been for water, possibly. It's very steep. That is steep. Almost lying down. Oh, it is so steep. <laughs> and I've got my climbing boots on, luckily. Proper road now. Nice and easy. 
I know it doesn't look steep, but it is very, very steep. You can see the angle of the trees compared to the, the ground, they can't really. But how steep is that? It's steep. Yeah, you can sort of see how steep it is there. How steep. First sighting of the lighthouse. But look at the difference from the rainforest we were in on the leeward side to this shrubbery on the windward side. It's incredible, the difference. Road up there. I thought we were at the summit because the road sort of ended, but there's something interesting. I wonder what this was. And this is, unless this was an earlier lighthouse or something, it's pretty cool. All sorts of little bits and pieces here. Oh here, yeah, there's a information. Let's have a look, see what it is. That's the information board. So they originally built a lighthouse on Little Fitzroy Island, um, a Swedish company, and but it wasn't strong enough or high enough. So then they built for the Navy ships going up and down because this was the centre of the Battle of the. Or, the American side for the Battle of the Coral Sea. So it's really important to have good communications, good navigation. So they built the lighthouse up here. Um, it was a small light and it flashed every four, uh, four flashes. Um, you see here, this is where later on the generators were, were put, water tank and a few, a few other buildings around with the light up here. Um, one interesting characteristic of this light was the way the prism and the glass was formed, if for any ships coming um, dangerously south of the light, they, it was a pure accident, they would see two dots and a dash, which in Morse is the letter U, um, which means up in navigational terms for ships, so they would veer up back into the sector. And any ships coming too far the other way would see two dots and a dash, which is the letter D in Morse, which is for down. So how's that for pure accident um, that that happened? Then after the war, um, this lighthouse was dismantled and the new one that we were at earlier was built. So that's what this is. Yeah, pretty interesting. We are going to the summit now. Um, which is pretty steep, but there was road nearly all the way to here. Now it's just track, which is nice. And uh, the summit is about 500 metres away. And then it's downhill all the way back to the boat. So yeah. <laughs> nearly there, nearly at the top. <laughs> it is steep. <laughs> Oh, it's just relentless. The steps. 
arms are so tall. <laughs> They're like up around your ears. You can see the houses for the lighthouse down there. Can't quite see the lighthouse, it's on the right. It's a bit vertical. <laughs> Mountain goat now. Oh. Those are beautiful tree roots. I'm just climbing. Look at this bit. Oh. This goes through the. Are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Oh. But I can see it from here. Yeah, that means it's like another kilometre. <laughs> oh. It's been. Um, it's been. Not liberating. Ooh. But it's been a challenge. After climbing up all those rocks, we're now going down hundreds of steps. The end's just there and we've done 93 floors, 8,000 steps and 5 kilometres. Not bad before breakfast on a Sunday. We've run out of bread, so I've just whipped up a little white loaf. It got a very long first rising because we were on the walk. On the walk took a lot longer than we thought. Just leaving, I keep trying to call it Fitzroy. <laughs> it is Fitzroy. Oh, we're just leaving Fitzroy Island. It's quite early. We're trying to be quiet. Sneaking out. It's been lovely here. to getting into cans and getting this gearbox fixed so that we can then poke into places because we like to poke into places and we haven't been able to do that we've had to sort of go the safe way so hopefully that's an easy fix but Magnus won't know until he pulls it apart a bit uh, yeah that's where we're at so uh, see ya Cape Grafton is Cape here. And I was just thinking back, the last boat I came into Cairns on was called the Cape Grafton. So there you go.